I'm not a lawyer, but let's get into day 58 of the YSL RICO trial. Walter Murphy, AKA DK, was back on the stand. What does YSL stand for? Um, young Slime Life, Young Successful Life, Young Successful Lifestyle, a couple different meanings. So when we made it, I don't remember like which one we decided first, but I know it, it came from the, um, the YSL like clothing brand. What does slime mean? From my understanding, I thought it meant different meanings, like brother, my partner, my blood, you know. So why did you call yourself young brother like? That don't even sound like that. It's no, it's not appealing okay. to the industry. That one, young brother like that one. All right. So we have brother, blood. What else? We weren't really saying it back then, but like my twin, they saying that now. That's popular now. Like my twin. At the beginning of the day, the state mentions two interviews that DK had with investigators. One was done in August of 2015 and the other was February of 2016. Now, yesterday we talked about um, some names that you called Mr. Williams. Did you ever call him in 2012 and 2013, reference him by the name of Thug? Mm, I might have said it, but I ain't that one, like we on a daily basis. When you were um, interviewed back in 2015 and 2016, during the course of those interviews, what did you reference, what did you refer to him as if they asked you questions during those interviews? Uh, I can't even, I know I had an interview in 2015, but like far as like what was said and all that, I don't really remember that I've been through a lot. Like, And I know when I did those interviews, at that point, like, I would have lied, cut my arm off to get back to my son. Those two interviews, plus Walter Murphy's plea deal, really become the basis for the rest of the day. Attorney Hilton asked Walter Murphy questions, and then based on his answer, she either references the acknowledgments in his plea agreement or the two interviews that he gave to police to impeach him, basically make him look like a liar. You'll see what I mean pretty quickly. Did members of YSL have to assist with payments of bond or putting money on people's commissary. I think I answered that yesterday. I told you like it wouldn't have been like mandatory or nothing like that. Do you recall in that same um, proper statement um, that you made here in February of 2016, telling both Investigator Dennis, Investigator Gaither, and the prosecutor, as a member of YSL, you made money however you could get it, that you, if you had to rob, you had to steal, whatever you had to do. And whatever you got in proceeds, you had to give about $150 to a red box or put in a red box to assist with any other member who may have be in prison or who may need money. No, I don't. But I told you at that point, you said February? February of 2016. My son was born in August and she was eight months pregnant when I got locked up. So I would have said anything to get back to him at that point. So are you saying that did not occur when you were part of the I don't process? remember it. I, I know I had an interview, though. Uh, they asked me a series of questions. I don't remember the questions. Let me ask and you. I don't remember my answers to the questions. Let me ask a better question. Are you saying today now that you did not have to give $150 and put into this red box? I never did that. Did Were there any particular colors that was associated with YSL? The color of slime was already green, and we was calling ourselves Young Slime Life, so it was just like... Was there any other color? No, not to my knowledge. I'm going to show you what's already been admitted. I want you to turn to page two. Did you initial number seven? Yes. What does it say? Some colors of YSL are red for blood and green for slime. Based upon what you acknowledged in here, is red a color that was symbolic for YSL? Yes. Did you have particular hand signs that you all used? It was just a hand sign. Is that the only one you had? Yes, to my knowledge. I want you to go to page three of your factual acknowledgement. Why well, I said I use several hand signs, some of which are wiping the nose with the index finger, curling the ring and pinky finger, inward towards the palm while extending the index and thumb. Oh, I didn't think that was like a hand sign. That was like a hand and face sign. Did you ever call Cleveland Avenue to Avenue? Yes. Why did you call it Cleveland Because I heard everybody else doing it. Did you ever ask why we are calling Cleveland Avenue Cleveland mm -hmm. Avenue? No. You don't ask questions like that. Why not? You just don't. And then at one point, Miss Hilton has Walter Murphy identify other members of YSL. Now, I want you to take a look around the room. And besides Jeffrey Williams, can you please identify other members of YSL? It's a lot of people. I, don't know. I know yet. Uh, Shannon. And are those the only two individuals that you know? Other than LaJelle. Do you know if an individual by the name of Khalif Adams 
also known as Bobby Hunt, is a member of YSL. Oh, he from the West Side. Oh. What about Martinez Arnold, also known as Duke? Um, I mean, yeah. Ronte BB? No, 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 no. I know her daddy. No, no. I don't know. He, he from the West Side, too. I don't think. Quantavius Greer, also known as Uncle. I know his family. How is he related to Mr. Williams? That's his brother. Marquavius Huey? No. What about Sergio Kitchens, also known as Gunner? No. Never met him a day in my life. Never met him until you put me in Rush Creek with him. Yeah. No, I don't know that person. Never heard of him. No, I don't know. No, 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 I know. Yeah, no, I thought he was in prison. And then what about Jimmy Winfrey, also known as Roscoe or Pee Wee Roscoe? See, that's where it get tricky. I don't know if he was like, he. I just know him from working with the label. I don't know nothing about him being in the streets. From there, Miss Hilton starts asking DK about some of the other incidents that we've heard throughout this trial. She starts with the incident that Miss Bennett was called to the stand to testify about, that alleged Mother's Day incident in which the state says that DK, Young Thug, and his brother came to Miss Bennett's house and robbed her. Remember that one? Do you know a person by the name of Arshillian Bennett? Would I don't remember her real name, but you, you made me remember who she was, though. Would you all hang out with each other? Nah, that would be kind of weird. My baby mama wouldn't approve of that. Ever know an individual by the name of Micah Anderson? That player, yeah. I know. I, I knew him. That Shay old man. And outside of player, did he have any other nicknames? King Slime. Have you ever gone to Shay's house without player and an individual put a gun to the back of her head? No. What about you robbing or taking her belongings? Could be cash, a baby book bag, piece by Dre headphones, and her weapon and her gun. No. What about shooting her gun at or in her direction while she was holding her baby? I did a lot of stuff. I ain't never did nothing with nobody I grew up with or nothing like that, especially not no female. Did you and Shay ever have any beef? each other. I don't be for women. Did you and her ever get into any arguments or fights? I don't hit women. I never had to miss the violence try ever. Did you ever try to steal any heroin from Shay? I did a lot of drugs. I ain't never did heroin. I don't even know how that look. Or did Buck Buck ever steal heroin from your presence from Shay with you and Mr. Williams present? Buck Buck my friend, but he, he a thief. He stole a lot. So. Okay. Have you ever stopped, stopped? He stole from a lot of people we went around. A lot of girls we had around. Specifically asked about hair. I ain't never seen no hair. I don't recall it. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Yeah. Have you ever stolen hair from Shay and called her and offered to return the hair back to her? Y'all remember the Adrian Bean story? I don't recall how that, that was, that was like a long time ago. And that was, I got shot that day. Okay. Twice. So, do you remember what started that day before you got shot? I, mean, I was real high. I don't remember what started it. Do you remember being in the car that day? No. Do you remember shooting at anyone that day? <clears throat> no. Do you remember being in a car that went airborne and hitting a wall. No, I heard about it though. Do you know someone by the name of Adrian B? Or B? Yeah, I know B. Do you recall being with him on the day that you got shot? I don't remember though, but I heard I was with him. How did you hear that you were with him? People told me that. <laughs> they okay. like, bro, you and Bean wrecked the car and brought somebody. When I woke up, I don't remember like what happened though. Do you recall being in a car with Frederick Prokop? Or Big Fred? I, I, people told me that. I don't know. Do you were being also in the car with Jeffrey Williams? No. Did anyone tell you that? No. And then this interesting clip happened after the state asked Walter Murphy about robbing people, but the judge did not like that question. Now, you talked about um, the fact that you would rob people. When did you start robbing people? At what age? I can't remember what age I was. Have you been caught for every robbery you've done? Don't answer that. Rephrase that. Your Honor, we would be given any type of use of immunity. If I'm sorry? Anything we pass the statute of limitation, we'd be given a use of immunity. I, Your Honor. I don't care. Just don't. He's not going to answer that question. Okay. He can rephrase the question, but not going to answer that question. 
And then Walter Murphy is asked about Donovan Thomas. Donovan Thomas is one of the victims whose unaliving is a part of this indictment. Are you familiar with a person by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? No. Okay. And is that what you called him? Yeah. I just seen him at the club and stuff. I don't know. Okay. So I never hung with him, so I don't know what he would hey, call himself. Do you recall having an interview with um, Detective Gaither and Detective um, Dennis in August of 2016? They asked you about Nut. You told them that Nut was the head of If Gang? I, I would have said anything to get back home. Huh? Were you aware of any beef or disagreement between If Gang and YSL? If I was, it was something I heard. I ain't like witness no beef or nothing like that going on. Okay. Do you recall that same interview in August? I think I may have said 2016, but I mean 2015, that there was beef. Not that you heard about the streets, but that there was beef between If Gang and Slime and that we were beefing. I don't remember. If Gang. I don't remember saying it. Okay. In the jail that you were at, which was the Fulton County Jail, that YSL members were on plates because of the beef between If Gang and YSL. I don't recall saying that. I don't recall what I said yesterday. What does the term being on a plate mean? Have you heard that term before? I thought that mean like beef. The Little Wayne incident at Club Compound in which his tour bus was the target of some firearm discharging, that was also brought up. Now, I want to take you to April of 2015. Who did you go to the club with? I can't remember who all day. It was a lot of us. In that same interview... In August of 2015, with Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, and Mr. Hudson, stating that you went to the club with Dolly, Dora, Buck Buck, and you all arrived there in a Jeep together. I don't remember saying that. And that also there was Shannon. They were all there at the compound. Together. I don't remember saying that. Why did you all go to the compound that evening? I don't remember the same reason we go to a club that other night. Were you going to do anything in the club towards Little Wayne that night when you all went to the club? That hey man, like the president. Man, how are you going to do something to Little Wayne? Okay. Do you recall in that August of 2015 interview? stating that y'all want to go in and maybe boo at him or maybe create some type of havoc inside of the club while no, he was performing. I don't recall saying that. Do you recall seeing Shannon um, at the compound that evening? No, I don't recall saying that. No, that was so long ago. What about Roscoe? Do you recall seeing Roscoe at the compound that evening? No. Do you recall telling um, Detective Gaither and Dennis that you saw... Um, both Roscoe and Shannon at the compound that evening. And that at some point, Shannon got into Dolly's truck and they drove that truck and left the compound. No, no. Do you recall if you spoke to Mr. Williams that night um, at all uh, while you were either at the compound or later on that evening at the compound? Where did you say it was? In 2015, April of 2015. I don't even think we were talking then. Do you recall telling detectives that you spoke to Mr. Williams and he was upset with you because you had brought Dora and Dolly to the club that evening? That sounded all right. He probably, he was mad at me for doing a lot of stupid stuff back then. Okay. But specifically, he was upset that evening because you had brought Dora and Dolly out there. Uh, I don't remember that happening, but it sounded about right. And then the Sitgo incident in which D'Angelo White just testified about. Attorney Hilton asked DK about that incident too. I just remember like pulling up to the store. Okay. Where it happened. What, <clears throat> what store did you pull up to? I can't remember the name of the store. It was a gas station. Okay. Did you go to the gas station with anyone? Yeah. Who? Me and Art. Do you remember um, in the interview back in August of 2015 and in the proffer that you did in February of 2016 um, telling um, Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis, as well as Detective Gaither, Dennis, and a prosecutor 
that before you got to the sit go or before that you got to the gas station, you were at Hot Rod Spot on off of Browns Mill Road. I don't recall. I told you I would say anything. I would have cut my arm off and give that to my son. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, um, and the prosecutor later on in February that while you were at the house, that Nard received a phone call and then Nard told you, threw you a chopper and told you, let's ride? <laughs> no, that sounded like a movie. That once you all got to the store, you pulled up to a gas pump, you got out of the drop passenger seat, Nard got out of the driver's seat, and when you got there, you immediately, with your chopper, ran to the car in which the individuals that you were going to deal with were, that you went immediately to that vehicle. Oh, Carson, that's not like a movie, too. Looking at 14 Charlie Charlie, do you see where you are in 14 Charlie Charlie? Yes. Who's that in 13 Charlie Charlie? They're not. What does he have in his hand? A gun. Would you call that a chopper? Yeah, it looked like a, a chopper. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, as well as the prosecutor in February of 2016, that after leaving the store, that you saw the guys in the blue car go down Jonesboro Road, and you all went down Browns Mill Road, and you end up seeing the blue car at a stop sign. Oh, I thought I would say anything. But you did plead guilty to this crime that we're discussing. Yeah. Correct? Do you remember then telling Detective Gaither? Detective Dennis in August, as well as telling Detective Gaither, Dennis, and the prosecutor in February, that Nard then rolled down his window, took the chopper, and you actually crossed your hands, and that he shot into the vehicle multiple times, about three to four times, inside of the vehicle with the chopper. And then after shooting, Y'all took off and y'all drove. I don't know what I'm saying. Do you remember Detective Gaither showing you pictures of the victim with half of his head cut off? Yeah, I remember. You remember that? Yeah. And do you remember telling Detective Gaither that it was Nar who shot half his head off? I don't remember saying that, though. Do you remember telling Gaither... Detective Dennis and the prosecutor in February that the reason why you went over there was because Bentley and Rock and and Hot Rock said that they were in trouble. They thought the, they thought that these four young men were trying to follow them. I don't know. None of that. So that was basically the day. Walter Murphy will be back on the stand tomorrow. The state is still up doing direct, but hopefully we'll get a little bit of cross tomorrow. It's not going to be a full day, so we'll see how it goes.